Hello, in this tutorial we'll be creating a program that converts both temperature and currency. The currency converter will convert to and from pounds and euros, whilst the temperature converter will convert to and from Celsius and Fahrenheit. Let's get started. First of all, let's print out a welcome message. So using console.writeline, let's write Welcome, please enter C to use the currency converter or anything else to use the temperature converter. Then let's get the user's answer using console.readline. So string answer equals console.readline. Then if the answer was C, they'll be taken to the currency converter part of our program. So let's start off by printing out some instructions. So let's say you have selected the currency converter. And then please enter A to convert from pounds or anything else to convert from euros. Once again, let's use a string and this time let's call it choice to get the user's answer. So let's use console.readline again. And then if their choice was A, we'll be converting from pounds to euros. So let's print out a message asking them to enter their amount in British pounds. Amount in British pounds. Then let's store that answer in a float called pounds and use float.pass to convert the console.readline string to a float. Then let's create another float called euros and set it to pounds times 1.16f. Finally, we want to print out the converted amount to the user. So let's type console.writeline the amount in euros is plus euros dot two string and then zero dot zero zero. Here we use two string to convert the float euros to its string representation. We pass in a zero point zero zero as an argument to represent how we want our string to be formatted. So as we want a number with only two decimal places, we pass in two zeros after the decimal point. So great, we've now finished converting from pounds to euros. Next we'll do vice versa. So in an else statement, let's write, please enter your amount in euros. And then in a float called euros, we'll store the user's answer using float.pass and then console.readline. Then we'll create a float called pounds and set it to euros divided by 1.16f. Finally, let's print out the converted amount to the user again. So the amount in British pounds is plus pounds dot two string and then 0, 0.00. And with that, we've now completed the currency converter part of our program. So next, let's focus on our temperature converter. So if the user did not initially enter C to choose a currency converter, then they've chosen the temperature converter. So under the if statement, let's write else. And then type welcome to the temperature converter. Let's also write please enter A to convert from Celsius or anything else to convert from Fahrenheit. So once again let's create a string called choice and set it to console.readline and then if choice equals A then let's ask the user to enter a temperature in Celsius and then store this in a float called Celsius. Once again we'll have to use float.pass to convert the console.readline string to a float 
And then now let's calculate the Fahrenheit. So float Fahrenheit equals Celsius times 1.18F plus 32F. Finally, let's print out the converted result to the user. So let's write the temperature in Fahrenheit is plus Fahrenheit. This time we don't need to use two string as we don't want any specific formatting for the temperature. And then finally, let's work on converting Fahrenheit to Celsius. So let's write, please enter a temperature in Fahrenheit and then in a float called Fahrenheit. Let's store the input from the user. Now let's create a float called Celsius and the conversion for this would be Fahrenheit minus 32F divided by 1.8F. Here you'll see this time we need to use brackets. This is because of operator precedence. So here the divide operation takes precedence over subtraction, meaning that we need to put brackets around the subtraction section here to make the subtraction happen first and then the division happen after. And then finally, let's print out the converted temperature to the user again. So the temperature in Celsius is plus Celsius. And with that, our currency and temperature converter is now completed. Let's give this program a quick test. So first of all, we see the welcome message and it says, please enter C for the currency converter or anything else for the temperature converter. So let's enter C. And then now let's enter A to convert from pounds. Let's put in 10. And it says the amount in euros is 1160. So this time let's enter C again for the currency converter. Let's enter anything else for the euro converter. And let's enter, let's say 1160 again. And it outputs 10 pounds. Next, let's have a go at the temperature converter. So let's enter anything else. And then it says welcome to the temperature converter. Let's enter A for the Celsius converter. Let's do 30 Celsius. And it says the amount of Fahrenheit is 67.4. And then finally, let's go back to temperature converter. Enter anything else. And let's do 67.4. And it gives back 19.6. And with that, we've now completed our currency and temperature converter. The link to the blog post will be in the description if you'd like to see the full code or would just like to see a written version. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I'll see you in the next.